What's up guys? Good morning. Obviously it is another day. We made it home. Thank God. Uh, you know, we made it home yesterday. Kaylee attended her first uh, doctor's appointment today. Everything's working out great. She's still in a little bit of pain. Uh, we're moving forward with the uh, with the, the surgery to get her back on her feet. But we're back home and our future moving forward as far as season three is concerned is a little unsure right now we don't really know what's going to happen where this is going to go how many days this is going to keep us down i mean obviously our best interest is to make sure that she's uh feeling better up and running and uh and then we'll go from there but uh you know i hate having downtime here at home especially when we had other plans so what's in store now for me until we figure out what's going on with kaylee is I'm gonna go ahead and do, you know, maintenance stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, get the truck service and stuff like that and, you know, clean the RV. I'm not sure if I'm gonna work on that project that I had uh, reference the washer and dryer. I, uh, you know, if it looks like we might be able to get on the road quick, if this with K, you know, if this whole situation with Kaylee works out quick and it looks like we may be able to get on the road, I may postpone that, I may just, uh, short down tie it down and just keep going and i'll fix it when i get back but that's it we're back we're home we're gonna we're gonna get kaylee fixed up and i'll let you guys know here real soon what our status is and where we're going from here so what's up guys welcome back it is another day we are still here home uh trying to work out uh, the logistics with kaylee and getting her surgery done it's already scheduled uh, it'll be in a few days, and but like I mentioned to you guys, I don't really, I don't really like sitting around, not doing anything when I'm here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a little maintenance on the on the uh, RV. I went ahead and took my truck today to get the maintenance done, the uh, the preventive maintenance on it every five thousand miles, um, and, and I was actually quite shocked because. You know this truck only has 19,000 miles and I had already the last was it last 5,000 or or 10,000 miles ago I had changed the air filter you know this time I did the fuel filters I did the oil change and I decided to look at the air filter again and I was I was like thrown back I, I just couldn't believe how much stuff we pick up on the road I mean most of the miles that this truck has on it has been highway miles but i i believe that we pick up a lot of you know dirt and dust and grime and hay and grass and all kinds of stuff that gets sucked up into that filter in all these campgrounds that we go to that aren't paved you know the campgrounds that have either gravel or grass and stuff like that but it was it was incredible uh it was incredible that only 10,000 miles and the filter looked this way. So, you know, public service announcement, announcement word to the wise, uh, get your maintenance done on your truck. These diesels are great. They pull, uh, they're tough trucks, but they're also a little finicky. You know, they, uh, they get better mileage when you do, when you do the air filters and, and, and all the good stuff on it. So just, you know, little word to the wise, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a little maintenance on the, uh, on the uh, RV now and and that's it that's all I got for you guys today uh, I will say this I'm gonna go out on a limb here I'm gonna go out publicly it looks like we might uh, continue season three it, it looks after talking to the doctors and and, and talking about the recovery and, and blah 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 it looks for now like season three may continue. However, more on that later. For now, let's get to work. All right, so just in case I didn't mention it to you guys earlier, I washed the RV yesterday with a uh, sponge and a brush and stuff like that. Every time that I wash the RV, I like to come back to it and I use a little bit of quick wax. It's like a detailer basically and uh, it just just makes it shine and especially up here in the front cap, it stops all the bugs from sticking. So works for me.
you guys get the idea. It's not, it's not labor intensive work. It's not hard work. Uh, luckily today we're having a winter day in Florida. It's like 72 degrees, beautiful. But uh, I do the whole coach. I do the whole coach with that spray and uh, it makes my life a lot easier. Sometimes you're not allowed to wash coaches at different campgrounds, but you know, if you get in there and just hose it down real quick, sometimes they let you just hose it down, all the dirt comes right off. But uh, that's it. That's what I'm doing today. I'll let you guys know, uh, I'll give you guys an update here real soon. All right, so 1,500 miles, four days, a lot of pain, but today's the day. Kayla's inside getting the procedure done. I'll let you guys know how everything works out. We're praying that everything goes smooth. All right, guys, so final update on Kaylee's status. Everything went great. She'll be coming. As a matter of fact, I came to the car, getting ready to go pick her up. That's it. Done with this for now. I mean, I'm sure there'll be some recovery here in the next few days. And I will bring you guys an update on our status and what we're going to do uh, moving forward. So what's up, guys? Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. I'm all scrubbed out because I'm still doing maintenance. I'm trying to stay busy, okay? But I wanted to reach out to you guys and give you a heads up on what's going on on Kaylee's status it has been a few days to let you guys know. Thank you for all the prayers. Thank you for all the private messages that I received from, from a lot of you guys uh, wishing her well. She has gone through with the surgery. The surgery is done. She came out perfect. Uh, she's now, you know, a little bit of pain, but she's recovering great, which leads me to something else. Some more information, some uh some stuff that we're going to go ahead and it may look like we may salvage season three. All right. So having said that, it has been now about, we lost about 18 days. Okay. It has been 18 days from the time that we left Vermont to the time that we got home to the time that, you know, she attended uh, uh, a couple of her appointments and had the surgery done and also to the time that she has to go back for her post-stop uh, appointment. It's going to be about 18 days, maybe 19. I'm not sure quite yet. I mean, we do have an appointment date, but we, we're really not sure what's going to happen. The one thing that we are sure about is we're going to hit the road. Uh, as soon as she does her post-stop uh, appointment, if everything works out great, if the doctor gives her the thumbs up, we're going to hit the road. And when we hit the road, we're going to spend a few nights up in Gainesville with my buddy again on the way out of Florida. I like st stopping there. He's a good friend of mine. And I like helping him out, him and his wife. They have a very nice property and they're very, very accommodating. Good, good people, good people. So I'm going to stop at his house for maybe two days. Then we're going to do, I mean, this whole, this whole thing since Kaylee's incident came up has been, you know, rushing, 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 getting from one place to another. So why stop? Why stop? We're going to go to his house and spend a few days, probably two days. And then we're going to do an overnighter an overnighter and we're going to catch up to our original schedule by meeting up with our friends Vic and Edie you've met in a few other videos we're going to meet up with them in Kentucky and we're going to do one week of the bourbon trail and one other thing that Kaylee wanted to do we've done it but she wanted to do it and we're going to go ahead and do it with her so that's it that's the status next time I get on here will be when we hit the road so good morning guys and welcome back to the channel i say good morning because it is a new day it is a new day here at home but not only is it a new day it's a good day an exciting day for us because as i promised to you guys i said i would not come back on here if we weren't going to hit the road well guess what that day has come we are hooked up that's a great sight right there we are hooked up and ready to hit the road here. We're going to be leaving in about, I don't know, an hour. And when I get on the road, I'm going to share with you guys what is in store 
for the remainder of season number three. Yep, we hit a little, we hit a little valley, we hit a little speed bump, but we are back on track. I'll get back to you guys as soon as we hit the road. All right, guys, so as promised, we are on the road. Let's clear up the big pink elephant in the room. There she is. There she is. She's not yet 100%. It's going to be a couple weeks before she can, uh, I don't know, lift heavy objects or something. But she's good to go. She's good to go, and we are back on the road. So to give you guys a status, we've been down 21 days exactly. 21 days from the day we left Vermont uh, to today. 21 days. So we did miss. We missed. So to give you a recap, we missed Niagara Falls, New York. We missed Lake Placid. We missed Adams, New York. We missed Pittsburgh. We missed a quick stop in Virginia that we had planned and another one in West Virginia. And then we were supposed to go from West Virginia over to Kentucky. Well, we had to do a little shuffling around and we are on the road right now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to Gainesville, spend two days at my buddy's house again. I'm gonna help him out with a few things. Then we're gonna do an overnighter at a campground that Myrna and I enjoyed at the beginning of season three when we were heading up to get the coach repaired, High Falls State Park. Then we're gonna make an overnight stop in Chattanooga, and then we are back on track. We are back on track in Kentucky, meeting up with uh, Vic and Edie, our friends, and we're going to do the uh, the bourbon trail. So that's it, that's it. That's the news I got. Great news, by the way, great news for us. We are back on track, we are on the road. The journey continues, season three is back in full swing. guys as you can tell not only is it a new day it's a new city it's a new state we are on our trek our hustle to get back on track uh with our original with our original schedule with our original agenda we spent the last few days in fort white we were at some friend's house I, you know, I can't thank them enough, Mark and Jamie. They're great people, great hosts, good friends. And uh, they opened up their house to us. We spent two days there. I took the opportunity to help Mark, you know, take care of a few things around his farm. And we had a great time. We always do. We've stayed there a couple times. We've always had a great time. But we picked up. New city, new state. We're in a place called... High Falls State Park. This is our second time in season three. If you guys remember back at the beginning of season three, Myrna and I stayed here on our way up to Indiana to get our coach serviced. So we've been at this park, High Falls State Park, very convenient, about a mile, 1.3 miles right off of I-75. It is a very convenient park. They got large pull throughs. Uh, they don't have sewer. They have gray water that you could dump at the site. But they do have a jump, uh, a dump station on the way out, so you can't go wrong. It is a it is a nice park. I'm actually out for a walk right now. But, uh, you know, what am I gonna tell you? We left this morning, you know, from Fort White to High, High Falls State Park, which is in Forsyth, Georgia, like I mentioned. It's, it's a, I mean, the distance is a snap. Wait a minute. What just happened? I'm sorry. I, I, I keep doing that. Let's go back to Georgia. Sorry, it happens all the time. I got to remember that. Very powerful. Don't snap them. Because uh, what you're thinking, that's where you end up. So, hope you're out there. Hope you're back. That was a mistake. That was my mistake. We're back in Georgia. High Falls State Park. We're going to be here overnight. And then in the morning, 
we're gonna go ahead and pack up and head to Chattanooga, Tennessee. That's it, that's all I got. See you in the morning. So here we are, in the hustle, in the push to get from point A to point B. So good morning, guys. Obviously, it is another day here. We just woke up this morning, 55 degrees, beautiful. We are in Forsyth, Georgia. We will be moving this morning on our hunt, on our trek up north to basically catch up to our agenda, to our schedule. That's what we're doing this morning. We're heading up to Chattanooga, Tennessee. And uh, when we get there, I'll give you guys a shout out and let you know how everything's going. And by the way, in case anybody's wondering, Kaylee is doing fantastic. She's feeling great. She's got to get used to a few little things that uh, come with having your gallbladder removed. But she's doing good. All right, guys, good afternoon. We made it. We made it to our campground here in... It, 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 the campground actually says in its title Chattanooga, but we're technically in a place called Roswell, Georgia. The campground is in Georgia, but I'm telling you, we are right on the on the on the line. But nonetheless, we made it. It's an exciting time because you know the past three weeks have been uh, a little stressful, a little different, a little involved. But we are back. We are back on track. I am going to close out this video, which has been very interesting. I'm going to close it out because tomorrow, tomorrow we arrive in Nashville. We are technically back on schedule. We are not necessarily following our original schedule or original plan. Uh, that won't happen until we get to Kentucky, but we're going to be in Nashville. We're going to be in Nashville for a few days. We're going to be enjoying some time with uh, some friends. We're going to meet like I mentioned, Vic and Edie. So I figure no time than the present to go ahead and close out this video. Uh, I hope I was informative. I hope I kept you guys up uh, up to speed on what was going on. Uh, again, thank you very much for all the uh, the, the DMs, the, the, the calls, uh, wishing us well. I really appreciate it. But that's it. We are done. And tomorrow, it's a new part of this adventure. Until then.